Hello Christine, uh, this video is going to be a little bit about your computer, um, which is here in the background. I've got a new case for you, uh, one that I got from Mark. Um, the guts, the inside guts of the computer are my own, uh, are from my old motherboard. So it's going to be a little more powerful, a little faster than what you had before. Um, uh, the graphics display will support two monitors as you can see here and uh, as you can see it's a, an extension of the your regular desktop so you're gonna have more room to work with you don't have to use uh, two monitors but I highly recommend it and as you can see the monitors aren't the same size it's better if you have them the same size but I strongly recommend dual monitors with Cubase. It makes it so much easier to, to work with. All right. So, um, but so the, your your computer has all of the. Uh, it's it, it's got my old motherboard and guts and memory and stuff like that in it. I also got you a sound card. The sound card is the same as mine. It's the Emu. Uh, card. The only thing different about it is the interface in the back of the computer, how things are connected, and I'll show that to you in just a bit. On the front of the computer, you've got a little uh, USB panel. The USB ports work. Um, the audio and the microphone ports do not work because you're not using the sound card that came with the motherboard. Um, you're using the, uh, the sound card for the, uh, the one that I bought and installed. Also wanted to let you know I put in a brand new uh, drive. So uh, you got a brand new drive here for if you need to burn a CD. Which that leads me to remember to tell you that uh, the burning program that you would use for burning CDs and so forth, the Nero, mm -hmm. Um, the Nero burning ROM. It's Nero 2014. That's actually the latest version that uh, window that Windows XP will support. If you try to put a later version on it, it won't run. So that's that's the latest and the greatest that Windows XP will support. Um, so, anyways, just wanted to let you know that. Mm. I just wanted to give you a little better look at your computer. Um, I uh, took the basically the motherboard uh, and the memory and everything from one of my older supercomputers that I built. <laughs> it's an old computer, but I, I mean it's an old computer by today's standard, but it's still faster than what you had in there before. Um, and you also have a uh, video card, um, your sound card that I bought for you um, which is basically the same as the uh, sound card that I have um, it's just the only thing different on it is this interface is different uh, with with uh, my computer um, instead of having these cables and these uh, uh, these cables that you hook stuff up to um, I just have slots that you plug into so that's the only difference so um, let me explain a little bit what we've got going on in here. Your video card will support two monitors. And uh, this is just standard uh, VGA. This is DVI right here. And this is a, uh, this is a VG, uh, DVI to uh, VGA adapter. Um, you can also get uh, an adapter that will go from this type which is uh, DVI to um, HDMI if you like and they're probably about six seven dollars so they're not real expensive adapters but the way it's set up right now you can connect you know a standard commu computer monitor to it um, and below here you've got this is your sound card connections and uh, below that is your uh, Wi-Fi uh, card. 
uh, the antenna. So that's kind of a little, little crowded, but you know it still still works fine. You know the way that is. Now, as far as these uh, these connections, um, as far as connecting to your stereo, your output for your stereo. Uh, you've got this. This is optical. And if your stereo receiver or amplifier, whatever you're using to, you know, to hear the sounds on the computer, if it's set up for optical, this is what you want to use. Um, there's, a base, there's an input and output. So you just plug in the optical to this and to your, uh, to your um, uh, receiver. Now this is MIDI. If you need to connect MIDI directly to your keyboard, there's that option there. This is also digital, but it's a co uh, component cable. Uh, sort of like uh, how you would connect a VCR or, or a, a, you know, video. Uh, the cable is just, uh, let me show you here real quick. This is what the cable, the end of the cable looks like. One of these. Okay. Here's another, uh, here's another one right here. That's the type of cable. And it's digital. So um, if it's uh, digital, you connect it. You know, if you don't have optical, this is the next best thing. Because it's still, it's still digital. And so that's where you would connect. You've got input, output. You're more than likely not going to be doing digital input, but if you did, uh, these, they're the ones labeled in, ones labeled out. It's called SPDIF, but it's basically digital. It's just a different type of connection um, there. Now for your microphone, You've got these uh, these components. This is a left line in and left out. So if you need to, you know, uh, have a line going out, analog, there it is. This is basically where you would plug your um, plug your microphone in. Okay, uh, you got an input here on the left and an input um, on the right. Okay. So, and when you're, uh, when you're recording vocal, you know, you only need, you, it goes into one channel, either left or right, and it's recorded as mono. But obviously when you play it back, it's going to be stereo. And when you look at the, this is the end of my, uh, my microphone. And the cable on it is is like so, and this is a, an adapter that goes from uh, uh, the three prong. to a simple uh, quarter. All right, and that's, that'll plug into the back of your computer. Anyways, there you have it.